Yeah, I mean, it's our first road trip. Um, e even for an exhibition or scrimmage game, we didn't go on the road. So it's our first time together. It's, it's good because they're out of class. It'll be a great time for us to bond some as well. We're getting there a day early. And, um, we're, you know, we're looking forward to it. I think when you can go on trips like this where you have a little extended time, uh, you can really connect with your team at a higher level. Uh, go ahead. Uh, a couple of the girls will be able to play in front of their family probably for the first time this year. I mean, home away from home, is it nice to get them out there and play in front of family and friends? Yes, and that was one of the strategic purposes of us scheduling the tournament out there. We have three young ladies from California, um, and they're excited to go back. And we should have almost 100 people there in total. So we might have more fans than them. I don't know. They don't draw particularly well. But um, it's it's exciting for them to go and play in front of their, their um, family and friends, really. Everything you guys have been talking about, uh, through the off season and getting to here is the movement to March. How much does a tournament like this help get you guys ready for that when you know who your first opponent is, you know who you could be playing, but not specifically in the second game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we treat it, we try to treat it uh, prep for the Big 12 tournament because uh, that's the next time we'll play multiple or consecutive days uh, in a tournament will be the Big 12 tournament. So we talk a lot about that. We've done that this week. We'll continue to do that over the next couple of days is, hey, this is good mindset, good prep for going to the Big 12 tournament as an example. So how we how we do everything, um, the prep on the in-between games, all of that will really emulate how we will treat the Big 12 tournament. What are the challenges as coaches for preparing to face, you know, like you said, you don't know who your second opponent is going to be, but just playing back-to-back -back days like that. The girls are resting their bodies, but the coaches are preparing on the back end. Well, the good thing is it's, everybody's doing the same thing, so nobody has an advantage there, with the exception of San Diego, because it is in their house, in their home court. It's their tournament. Um, but I, I think that, um, you know, that's the part that we talk about is this is equal playing ground um, for both teams. They both had to, to play the day before. Um, so no one really ha has an advantage in terms of rest ratio, so it's all equal. There's been a lot to be uh, happy about with the way your team has played so far up to this point, but what are you still having them focus on most in practice to keep them getting sharp for Big 12 play? Yeah, I think just, I mean, we're focusing on both ends of the court. It's really early in the season. Uh, the great part is that we've been able to improve after, after wins um, instead of having to deal with a loss, and that's been really nice. So we're going to continue to push forward all the fundamentals and basics of the game. We're continuing to get stronger and sharper at, and, um, you know, reads and transition, things like that are, are some areas that I've seen improve and we're going to continue to f focus on our defense and coverages and all of that. So we're just we're both ends of the floor really um, dissecting that daily. Other than two wins, what do you hope your girls take out of this tournament? Yeah, well, um, I think that's a big part of it. We have an opportunity to go win a tournament. It will be Brittany Brewer's first as a senior. Um, she's not won a tournament since she's been here. So things like that and uh, just um, being able to handle back-to-back -back games and how tough you have to play, how hard you have to play. We're advancing deeper into the season. Things get tougher as you go. We've got a lot of newcomers, and I think they're learning that, and they're growing daily in that capacity. What do you know about Purdue for Wayne? Mm -hmm. Um, well, a team that shoots the three ball extremely well and shoots free throws extremely well. So two areas that we have to pay attention to defensively. You know, we do have a speed advantage. We do have a size advantage. And those are things that we would like to take advantage of against them. And then how nice is it that the team, the fans, the parents all coming together for Thanksgiving out there? Yeah, it's just it, it culminates into a nice setting. You know, it's over the holiday and the fact that we're going to have a nice crowd. Even some of our kids that aren't from California, their parents are coming. So it's going to be a real nice atmosphere for us. Yeah, I think going on the road will be a good experience. I think we needed to do that before we hit conference for sure. And so I'm really grateful that we're going to get that. Um, and to play against teams that can shoot the three ball, that's going to be awesome for our experience. And um, just see how we carry that into conference as well. What are you looking forward to with the younger players in this first opportunity? See what it's like to play with them. Yeah, maybe um, for the younger players, just seeing how um, they feel comfortable on the court um, that's not our home court and just like letting them like get into the flow of things on away games because that's really important for us um, to fine tune before we hit conference again. <laughs> How much of a benefit can this tournament be where you know who your first opponent is, but you have no idea? You, it's one of two, but you don't know which one you guys are preparing for. Yeah, um, honestly, I think it will be a great benefit, especially since our goal is to make it to the NCAA tournament. That's like an experience that we're going to have to go through prior to in order to be ready. And so to absorb stuff, to be ready for whatever comes our way, that's really important. What have you seen from your opening uh, opponent? Um, they can shoot the three ball um, basically at every single spot. Um, so that's going to be really important that we guard that. And yeah, so that'll be good. <laughs> I don't imagine Coach Stallings is letting you guys look too far ahead in this. Have you guys even looked at 
potential uh, matchup for the second, or is that going to be right after the first game you guys start prep for that? Um, usually we start prep right after. Um, might do like a little bit here and there, but definitely the focus is the first game ahead of us. So, What are the Thanksgiving plans for the team? Uh, let's see. We'll go to dinner. Um, I think it's on the bay. At, I honestly can't remember the restaurant name, but everyone's really excited about that. And then um, we want to win the whole tournament, and so that's really what we're going to be going there for. What's impressed you about this team three games yet? Yeah, I would just say their relentlessness and their hunger to get better. Um, we know that we have to get better on certain things, and so um, we really don't want to settle, especially in games when we're up and stuff like that, and that's something that we're continually learning, and so that's really good. I know that you've been practicing against her for a while, but when you see Boogie kind of turn it loose, does she kind of surprise you with her, her speed and some of those athletic plays? Yeah, uh, Boogie definitely surprises me with some of the stuff she does. She's walking up right now, but um, she's, I mean, she's got game and um, she's got fire. And so having those two things, um, there's really no limit to what she can do on the court. What about Tuck, though, too? I mean, she obviously with the Big 12 Freshman of the Week under her belt so far, but um, what is it about her that makes her so special? She's obviously really versatile and has a lot of range, but in your opinion, I mean, what just kind of separates her? Yeah, I would say so. She is very versatile um, in her position, but as a freshman, she's really level-headed, and I think that really gives her an advantage. Just she steps on the court, she's got even breathing, she's just really level-headed overall, and so I think that gives her the advantage, especially among other freshmen that might have anxiety or something like that. I'd probably say playing in the tournament. We're playing some good teams, you know, based on the scout and what I've been looking at, so I'm excited to play against them, and I'm excited to kind of go back home. Even though I don't live in San Diego, I've been up there a couple times, so I'm excited to go back home to Cali. Yes, my my mom, my dad, cousins, aunts and uncles are going to go out and support some friends and family. We have a lot of people on our team that have family in California that's going to be going out too, so I think that's going to be really special. How excited are you just to be able to have that chance, though, to be able to kind of take this team and, and showcase them in front of all your family and friends? I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to show how hard we've been working as a team and, you know, what we've been doing out on the court. And I, I just want to be able to show people that we've been working hard and we're you know, ultimately reaching a goal, which is, you know, playing in March. So I just want everyone to, to see that and to, you know, buy into it. How would you assess how you guys have played this first handful of games? So far? I think we did good so far. We're, we're gelling really good. You know, we get along great as a team, and I can see that, you know, the camaraderie that's, that we have on the court and what we do in practice is translating in games. And um, I think we're doing really good. And, uh, we're gonna we're gonna shock some people this year.